Hi, this is Michael Benjamin Jacobson. Love one another. It's uh, my T-shirt. Uh, this is one of 200 T-shirts that I've designed. Uh, this is uh, Orti's uh, uh, a special release, Prophetic Words, uh, part one and two. Uh, if you see this prophetic word of part one, uh, you may request one from me. It uh, wouldn't be an ordinary $30. And Orty didn't give me any money for this, but it's just proven to be a wonderful friend. This, uh, this uh, prophetic word is uh, brought to you by Coca-Cola, no sugar, vanilla, flavour. Orty. I sent, you shared in your email that I, I, um, I fulfilled, I, I sort of uh, confirmed a lot of things that you're waiting for confirmation on. And, uh, and uh, you gave me extensive and wonderful feedback, really encouraged me. Uh, the Holy Spirit uh, used that feedback and extensive uh, encouragement to uh, have me press further. So I come up with another 10 points. Um, if you, you press under the video uh, onto the button, see more. If you see it on the computer, you'll be able to see the points that I'm going to go through uh, with uh, this uh, prophetic word. Uh, I'll even send you these points that I type out <clears throat> in an email so you don't have to... Um, uh, dictate and uh, transcribe this. Uh, if, if you're a person watching this um, and uh, you're looking for this type of prophecy, um, I would, uh, I would, um, uh, I'd ask that uh, you give me a very big gift for this. Uh, it takes a lot of prophetic unction, takes a lot of my gifting to call this out. Orti is <clears throat> an uncommon leader. He he did the biggest uh, prophetic word out for America that I've ever seen. And uh, he was killed twice for, for doing it. And uh, he hasn't released that to the public, but uh, it's been released now in this prophetic word. You shouldn't worry about uh, people hearing that, Orti. Okay, so um, the first point is um, uh, that you're going to have apostolic favour. <coughs> You know, uh, the word apostolic isn't popular with me simply because uh, so many people who claim to be apostles are uh, apostles in their, their eyes only. Seems to be so much apostolic abuse uh, in the body of Christ that um, I don't even like the word. But here are the point. Um, here are the points that uh, come for this. This is um, part of a tremendous promotion that uh, the angels, uh, Michael, uh, the archangel, and, uh, and uh, the anointing on my life, the Holy Spirit working through my authority, um, and uh, the Holy Spirit himself uh, gives you this promotion. So receive it. And, uh, and these are parts of the promotion, uh, the prophecy part one, prophecy part two. Uh, so here are some of the points. You'll be discipling men of influence. Uh, men of the fivefold uh, will approach you and uh, you'll be discipling them uh, into the new covenant. Um, the witches have given me uh, a title uh, for the new uh, following, the, the new thing coming forth. And uh, they call it the new world order. They say that uh, the new world order was stolen off God. The words New World Order were originally God's. And uh, it's, a, it's a new covenant coming forth uh, rather than uh, the covenant of grace. There's, there's a new covenant uh, for the kingdom coming forth. And uh, <clears throat> the men of God, the men and women of God, even when I say men here, it means women too. The men and women of God need to be discipled into this new function, into this new territory, into this new way of doing things. And you'll be discipling men into this new thing. It's nothing new for you, or to you already operate in this. Um, but very few men uh, and women of God do so. Um, 
this idea that uh, you minister and you minister, you don't put your hand out for money and you're not always begging people for money. Uh, you're gonna, second point is you're gonna be counseling men and women. Uh, you're gonna be taking problems off them. Uh, you're gonna uh, go to the courts of heaven with them. You're gonna uh, counsel them and fix them up and do strategic uh, warfare and do strategic counseling for them. Of course, they're gonna pay for those services, but as we know, uh, your ministry isn't about getting paid, your ministry is getting the job done. So if there are five, five leaders from Mexico, you'd probably uh, do it for free. Uh, if uh, the five, five ministries from a big church in the United States, uh, it would cost them more than uh, someone in Mexico. Uh, I, I can see you moving out and directing men, uh, like a director directs actors uh, to play out their part in the screenplay. Uh, you're going to be uh, directing men into their strategic uh, mantles, their strategic uh, templates, their ex a strategic blueprints. You're going to be directing people into their proper function, their proper office, and their proper uh, strategic blueprint over their life. You're not just gonna be directing men and ordering men, you're gonna be aligning them with their purpose. Um, you're gonna uh, be uh, counseling, ongoing counseling with the men, uh, not just uh, deep spiritual breakthrough counseling, but you're gonna ongoingly, uh, you're gonna uh, have an ongoing counseling. Uh, you're gonna uh, bring breakthrough in the lives of men. Uh, you're going to uh, find uh, things that are blocking them. You're going to find things that are holding them up. Uh, you, you're going to uh, stamp on the spirit of delay and all sorts of delay and all sorts of stuff. Uh, you're going to work with their self-esteem. You're going to work with their uh, feelings, you know, their theologies, or whatever is stopping them from breakthrough. You're going to fix it, counsel it, and uh, set them in motion. Of course, there's going to be a lot of money changing hands uh, for them to buy your time. Um, you're gonna be redeeming men. Uh, you're gonna be uh, grabbing men uh, with, with, uh, with addictive habits and, and, and problems and idolatry and all sorts of issues and troubles. And you're gonna be redeeming them through the blood of Jesus, the power of the Holy Spirit, and the anointing and the Holy Spirit's uh, presence and glory that's on you. You're gonna break stuff off and redeem them and uh, bring them forth to be 100% vessels for God, not 100% vessels for the enemy and idolatry and all forms of abuse and all forms of uh, addictions that they're in involved. You're going to be redirecting men. Uh, you're going to re you're going to be repositioning the men. You're going to take them from uh, uh, unknown and a problematic sort of mandates and problematic sort of uh, vision statements and problematic, uh, troublesome, uh, theologically unsound practices. And you're going to uh, counsel them and redirect them, reposition them into the proper destiny and the proper purpose and the proper blueprint. So I can see you doing uh, like a, uh, a blueprint uh, for them and something like this, the so, sort of gifting catalog. And uh, I can see you doing a, uh, a 12-month prophecy uh, blueprint and something like this gifting catalog sort of ministry that I've, I've been doing over you. Um, point number two, you're going to be releasing ministry uh, mandates and blueprints. So um, point number two, you're going to be uh, editing uh, the, the men's um, mandates, uh, their, their blueprints, uh, their, uh, the statements over their life and their ministry. You're going to be editing what they think they should be doing. You're going to seek the Lord for a mandate and a blueprint over their life, over their children's life, over their wives and um, loved ones' lives, and um, you're going to do a blueprint over their ministry. Then you're going to edit. You're going to transition them from what they're doing into what God wants them to do. Uh, you're going to be bringing men and women in ministry correction. You're gonna be releasing the new mandates, re releasing the new mantles, the new mandates, the new anointings, and the new blueprints over their uh, uh, ministries. And you're gonna be redirecting them 
from what doesn't work, from idolatry, from all sorts of sin and bondage and, and holdups, and you're going to release them into, redirect them into breakthrough, redirect them into God's purposes, God's mandates, God's blueprints. Okay, number three, uh, you're going to uh, provide apostolic oversight. Um, uh, you're going to be a counsellor for the fivefold ministries and uh, ministry directors and ministry leaders and fivefold ministry leaders. You're going to be the counsellor. You're going to be a director. You're going to direct them into the right moves, the right mandates, the right blueprints, the right direction. You're going to edit uh, what's uh, wrong and uh, bring it forth what's right. Uh, number three, you're going to be an overseer. You're going to be uh, a seer. You're going to be a prophetic. Uh, apostle over these ministries, you're going to um, watch over them like a mother hen watches over her children and uh, you, you, you're going to uh, uh, operate in proper apostolic function. Number four, you, you're going to um, take donations for your time and, and, and not be demanding. You're not going to extort uh, fivefold ministries. You're not going to extort churches. You're not going to extort churches and ministries for money. Uh, they're going to be giving you what you're worth. There's going to be a talking about, and there's going to be an arrangement. If their church has got little uh, staff and they've got uh, little uh, income coming in, uh, you're, you're going to be almost doing it pro bono for them. But uh, people with uh, a larger uh, access to cash, and uh, you're going to redirect their finances into what's useful. Uh, you're not going to be like a standover apostle like most of them are in, in the ministry, but uh, you're not going to be shortchanging yourself either. And number five, you're going to be an angelic assigner, just like I assigned uh, angels to your ministry. You're going to be able to release a portion of the angels in your ministry uh, underneath the general that Michael gave you. You're going to release a portion of angels and uh, assign angelic uh, assistance uh, to any ministry. You're going to uh, have the uh, ability to uh, release mantles, anointings, glory, and angelic helpers. So you're going to be able to release mantles, anointings, glory anointings, and angelic helpers into ministries uh, in your apostolic purview, uh, in the people that you're helping. Um, you're going to be providing... Uh, Spiritual cover, and, and um, I don't understand this word so much, but uh, I feel that uh, you would understand it. You're going to provide territorial coverage. Um, so I guess there's demons over cities and regions and states. I, I, I believe that um, you'll, provide, you'll be providing territory, territorial angelic coverage over these ministries. Number four, um, and uh, you, of course you're a prophetic person, you can uh, work these out. There's 10 points, so I'm going through them. You're going to be a, come a church structure specialist. Um, number one, you, you're going to release a church template, a vision, uh, uh, a vision over uh, the church. You're going to become a vision counsellor. So you're going to edit... The, you're going to have a look at the ministers and the, and the management and the leadership uh, vision for the church and you're going to edit that. You're going to take out what's bad. You're going to add what's good. You're going to do a blueprint over the ministry, over the church, and, uh, and then a uh, blueprint over each of the leadership and, uh, and uh, talk to them and counsel them into uh, an edited mission statement, an edited vision. Number two, you're going to do a church blueprint. Like I said in number one, you're going to do a blueprint over the church. Number three, um, you're going to do a reorganization of leadership, removing rebellious, stubborn, obstinate uh, leadership and promoting those more deserving. So you're going to have a look at the church. You're going to have a look at the giftings. You're going to have a look at the people in the church. You're going to get rid of leadership that are standing in the way and the purposes of God. They're going to be given an opportunity to repent, but you'll know the ones that aren't going to repent. You're going to move them out and you're going to bring in the new blood that's going to work towards a new vision. Number four, 
you're going to appoint new worshipers. You're going to appoint uh, and, and do the same thing and do a sifting in the worship team. You're going to reorganize the worship team. Take out the rebellious, take out the sin ridden ones, take out the idolatrous uh, worship leaders. Uh, tell them what's wrong privately, tell them what's going wrong, and then uh, you can seek your appointment uh, to come back onto the worship team when you, you break that sin. But we're not going to have sinners leading people into worship. Number five, you're going to be a team organizer, you're going to organize the uh, management team. Number six, you're going to uh, be a vision caster uh, for the church. You're going to cast a new vision. Uh, with with uh, your uh, your understanding of the Holy Spirit and the angelic and the saints and uh, your access to an open heaven, you're going to cast a new vision over the church. Number five, you're going to do strategic corporate word releaser. You're going to, like you've been releasing uh, corporate words of late, you're going to be a strategic corporate word releaser. Um, uh, point number one, you're going to be accountable to other prophets and you can choose prophets uh, for, for you to be accountable. They've just got to have a prophetic gift. doesn't mean that they're uh, moving over you. Uh, uh, that doesn't mean that uh, you're, you're uh, answerable to them. But it's just having a couple of prophets on your team as finances come on to pay someone $50 a month, can you just review my prophecies and, uh, and give me a thumbs up uh, that uh, I truly heard from the Lord. Um, number two, able to counsel leaders in regions. Um, so as you release corporate words and you release uh, um, uh, words over states and cities and townships, that uh, the actual people in those townships and the leaderships in those regions can come to you and uh, you can give them counsel and direction how to align with that corporate word. Um, and number three, you'd be a change agent in the areas prophesied. So you'll have the authority and the ability and the prophetic uh, um, unction to be able to work with the leaders in each region and uh, become a change agent, be an agent for change in those areas that you're prophesying in. Warty, this prophetic word is way above. This is, uh, you know, towers above my anointing. Like I'm moving in something that's <laughs> I don't, like you said, it went to another dimension. Uh, the level I'm prophesying that I've never seen before. All right, number six, I, I'm, I think I'm prophesying to you in your, your new promotion level. <laughs> um, number six, God is bringing sons and daughters to you, opening up ministry opportunities, according to Isaiah 60. So I'll give you a revelation, Orti, and the uh, Holy Spirit's hit me. So it's confirmation. Uh, throughout your sleep over, over many years, uh, witches and warlocks have been harvesting your sperm and, uh, and uh, impregnating witches and, 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 and witches uh, all around the world, Illuminati people. You've got Illuminati children, you've got Illuminati men and women uh, who have grown adults and, and teenagers. You've got witches and warlocks. You've got thousands and thousands of sons and daughters, uh, true sons and daughters of yours. You, did, Isaiah 60 isn't talking about spiritual sons and daughters. It's talking about real sons and daughters. And uh, um, that, that is going to start to be, uh, become real to you that uh, true sons and daughters are going to start to reach out to you and uh, and uh, he's going to bring those sons and daughters back and many of them are going to have uh, big functions in the Illuminati and big jobs and they're going to have some um, wealth uh, and uh, they're going to bring that uh, wealth in. Number seven, um, wealth is coming according to Isaiah 60, uh, the wealth of the Gentiles, the wealth of your sons and daughters and the alignments and the businesses and uh, those things are going to start to come. Number eight, the glory of the Lord is coming upon you according to Isaiah 60. The riches of the Gentiles, um, uh, many, many ministry opportunities are going to start to open up. The glory of Daniel 12, where uh, the, the sons that lead many to righteousness will uh, shine like stars forever and ever. And the glory of Isaiah 60 is going to start to manifest and is, is on you right now. Uh, number nine, um, 
You're going to be building a prophetic army, a corporate team of ministry workers, all aligning under your ministry. So there's a prophet, Kent Simpson, who's got about six uh, prophetic pastors that prophesy in his ministry. I see you are building a prophetic website and allowing people new to the prophetic, allowing people uh, who see some prophets to come and join your website, build a website where uh, you, you're giving uh, 20 or 30 prophetic words a day through your website. Um, uh, one of the points is they'll all be aligning under your ministry. And another point, there's going to be no false fee as people join your ministry and you, you sign them up with a good website uh, on your website. There's going to be no false fee, but you're just going to say uh, tie 5% of your earnings or 10% of your earnings to me. But there's going to be no um, them paying you a set fee. Ken Simpson charges people a fortune, uh, like $200 American per month to be on his website. There's going to be none of that. You're not going to be gouging people. You're going to uh, be uh, giving them a percentage, asking them for percentage. And number 10... You should be a giver of abundance to other ministries. So, um, as the doors to ministry open up, and as the finances uh, open up, uh, uh, you know, um, one of the Old Testament prophets uh, said that you'll be a giver, not a taker. You'll, you'll be a loaner of money, not a lender. And uh, that uh, uh, scripture, wherever it is, you should be the head, not the tail. That scripture is going to manifest in your life. I, I sense the Holy Spirit has has highlighted that recently, that scripture. And uh, you've uh, put your finger on it and said, I claim that. And uh, the Holy Spirit heard that, told that to me. And so I release that. Uh, as you uh, uh, donate to ministries, uh, good ministries like... Uh, like, like uh, Heidi Baker or or, uh, or uh, Heaven's Family as another ministry I like, or uh, my ministry or, or Lisa Townley's ministry. Um, or Lisa Townley's a good ministry. Um, whatever you release money to, the Lord is going to keep this flow. I can see so much um, abundance and so many things. I can see you uh, doing this... Um, uh, you, you could call this uh, prophecy a gift basket prophecy. Uh, you could uh, do an angelic assignment uh, prophecy. Uh, you could do uh, new mantles, new anointings prophecy. These are all things uh, that uh, you could uh, do. And I uh, haven't, uh, uh, haven't got uh, those, uh, but uh, uh, gift. So number 11, um, ministries. Gift basket prophecy new mantles anointing prophecy angelic. Assignment prophecy normal prophecy pretty blueprint. Prophecy twelve months prophecy breakthrough blossoms.
So you could call it a gift cup, gift basket prophecy like the one I'm doing, a new mantles, anointing prophecy, angelic assignment prophecy, normal prophecy, prophetic blueprint prophecy, 12-month prophecy, breakthrough blockage, prophetic prayer prophecy. So they're the types of prophecies that you can do, different ministry actions that uh, you can do, point 11. So I hope uh, that uh, you're blessed by this and uh, you wake up uh, if you're asleep. I hope that you wake up to this and uh, very much encouraged. Um, of course, uh, the Lord used you uh, to uh, move me into this new level of uh, prophetic, uh, prophetic uh, uh, words. Um, you could, um, any, um, any uh, prophecies that you did, uh, you can uh, just tell the people to write to my email address and request the same prophecy off me too. Uh, that's a way you could uh, advertise me, I'm sure. God bless you and uh, look forward to your feedback. And